Hi everyone, it's Carlita from Central Coast Council. I'm one of the environmental education officers and this is my good friend, Wizzy the Water Drop. We are so excited that you've joined us today because Wizzy wants to take us on a very special water adventure. Now Wizzy said it's really important to know more about where water comes from because we use it every day of our lives, don't we Wizzy? Can you think about what you use water for at home? Hmm, Wizzy, what do we use water for? Brushing our teeth, that's right. What about washing our hands, having a shower or a bath and flushing the toilet? So we use water for so many different activities. Now, Wizzy wouldn't tell me where we're going on our special adventure, but he did give me a clue. Wizzy said that we are going to go and meet some of his water drop friends in a place that is white, fluffy and soft and in the sky. Can you think of where that might be? Hmm, now I don't know how to get to this place, so we might have to wish ourselves there. How about we count to three and say, I wish to go on a water adventure. Are you ready, Wizzy? Okay, I don't know where we're going. One, two, three. I wish to go on a water adventure. Oh, wow, Wizzy, we're in the clouds. This is so cool. And look, our special story time book arrived too. Shall we read our story and find more about where water comes from? Let's begin. The story of a raindrop. That's what you are, Wizzy. Hi, I'm Florence the raindrop. This is the story of my journey from the land to the sky and back again. It starts with me living in a river, lake or the sea as just another drop of water. When my friend Sparky the sun shines his powerful rays down from the sky, I heat up and turn into water vapour. Some of the other water drops do too. This is called evaporation. It's a big word. We begin to rise and rise like steam from a teapot. Even though you can't see it, some of my other friends, like Lily the plant, also create vapour by sweating water out of their leaves when they get hot. Just like you and I. This is called transpiration. As we rise up, up into the air, we cool down and turn into tiny water drops who stick together to make clouds. This is called condensation. When more and more of us are made, the clouds get heavier and heavier until the air can't hold us anymore. Then it's time for me and my friends to come back down to the ground. We fall out of the clouds as rain, hail, sleet or even snow. This is called precipitation. We tumble and dance out of the sky, landing everywhere from puddles and creeks to hills, mountains and your backyard. Some of us will end up in reservoirs that store your drinking water. Some of us will seep into the ground where we can live for hundreds and thousands of years. But most of us will trickle and flow our way back into rivers, lakes and eventually the ocean to start our fun journey all over again. This is called the water cycle. Wow. Let's have a look at this water cycle again, Wizzy. So Florence the raindrop and you started off in rivers and creeks or even the ocean. And then Sparky the sun heats up the water. And then you started to float up towards the sky as water vapor, didn't you? And that was called evaporation. And the same thing happened with the plants the sun was heating up the plants and they started to get hot. And then little water droplets that we can't see, 
left the plants and that was called transpiration. And they all come up into the sky and the water droplets come together, they huddle together, they get bigger and bigger. And this is called condensation. And then what happens, Wizzy? That's right. You rain down back to the ground and that's called precipitation. Wow, there's so much happening in the water cycle. What a fantastic book. And thank you, Wizzy, for taking us on this incredible adventure. It really makes me think about how important water is. And because it's so important, maybe we can find out ways to save water at home. What do you think some of the kids could do at home, Wizzy, to save water? Turn off the tap when brushing your teeth? That's a really good one. What about taking shorter showers? Yep, and using the half flush on the toilet? These are all great ways that we can save water at home. Well, Wizzy, I think it's time for you and Florence the raindrop and all of your other water drop friends to rain back down to earth. What do you think? Shall we say goodbye to everyone? Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>